When I was 14, my mom left the home. And when she left, she left. So my mom was pretty much gone. At 18, I found myself homeless. My dad got remarried and there was no longer a place for me. So I ended up very early marrying my high school sweetheart at 22. We had our first child at 23. I purchased our first home at 23 and it was probably one of the worst transactions I'd ever had. Because we were so young and we didn't know, we were uninformed, our agent just did not take care of us. She put us in a very horrible situation. The transaction was terrible. And I just remember thinking, this is not something that I ever want to have anybody ever experienced. We lost money on the transaction. We moved in. We had no dishwasher. We had no appliances. Brand new, brand new baby. And we had absolutely nothing. And we had to go broke and go into debt just to have the basic necessities in this home that we really kind of didn't want. And she kind of talked us into it. So a few years later, I decided, you know what? It might be a good idea for me to get my real estate license. I started telling other people because, you know, I knew the importance of real estate. I knew what it could do. I knew the possibilities of what it could do in terms of building generational wealth. And I wanted that same thing for my family. So I decided to get my real estate license. And one thing I knew is that I never wanted to have anyone go through the same thing I went through. I didn't want to have people lose their money. I didn't want to give them a horrible experience that I had. And so I built this business that was just based upon me serving people me helping people. And when I approached business in that manner, and I've lived my whole life doing business, just helping, just serving people, I never ran out of business. And so that's pretty much where I've been my, throughout my whole career. And that's what landed me where I am today, just serving people.